After completing its user trials and sailing for more than 100 days, the third Scorpion class submarine INS Karanch has been commissioned into the Indian Navy today. INS Karanch has a submerged displacement of 1,775 tons, submerged speed of 37 km per hour, and a submerged range of 1,020 km with an endurance of 50 days. It is equipped with Leonardo's C-303 countermeasure system, that is designed to counter acoustic homing torpedoes, active and passive torpedoes, and wire and non-wired guided torpedoes. It is also fitted with six torpedo tubes for heavy-weight torpedoes, SM-39 Exocet anti-ship missiles, and is ready to fulfill the entire scope of missions such as anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare, special operations, intelligence gathering and mine laying missions. The plan to build six nuclear-powered SSN submarines on the Project 75 Alpha was discussed at the recent Combined Commanders Conference, for which $14 million was allocated for the initial phase of the project, and the total cost to build these 6,000-ton stealth submarines featuring pump jet propulsion will cost around $17 billion. The preliminary design phase of the program was completed in early 2020, and currently the DRDO and Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design are working on complex detailed design and construction, that will be followed by freezing the design and starting scale model testing. India can currently exploit the vulnerabilities of the Chinese H-6 bomber, as it is a subsonic aircraft with a large radar cross-section that makes it vulnerable to airborne and ground-based air defense missiles, but China's new H-20 stealth bomber will be ready by 2025, that will give it an intercontinental power projection capability. Modern bombers are costly to acquire and maintain, but all major powers see the investment as important. Few defense analysts have been suggesting to join Russia in the development of packed stealth bomber. The US Air Force has also started retiring the first batch of 17B-1B Lancer, as these cuts will allow the service to keep remaining aircraft at a higher state of availability. The B-1B Lancer had recently flown a sortie with India's Tejas light combat aircraft, and was reportedly evaluated by the Indian Air Force. The top management of Hindustan Aeronautics has approved the development of an amphibious variant of Dornier 228 aircraft, and it is expected that the prototype will be ready by 2024. It will be an internal company-funded program, but the aircraft concept has seen interests from both military and civilian operators, that can be used for reconnaissance of strategic islands, delivering spares to warships and emergency evacuation of personnel. After signing a contract with Seacon Private Limited for building eight missile cum ammunition barge vessels, the Indian Navy has signed a contract with Surya Dip to projects to construct 11 ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge vessels, and officials have said that the delivery is scheduled to start from May 2022. The government had initiated the process to sell its stake in Bharat Earth Movers Limited, and as per latest reports, India's biggest private sector defense firms like Tata Group Mohindra and Bharat Forge are preparing bids to acquire a 26% stake in Bharat Earth Movers Limited, that is estimated to be around $140 million, and after the stake sale, the government's ownership in the company will come down from 54% to 28%. The Indian Space Research Organization has completed development of a synthetic aperture radar, that is capable of producing extremely high-resolution images for a joint Earth observation satellite mission with the US Space Agency. The NISA satellite will be put into orbit in 2022, and is the first satellite mission to use both L-band and S-band radar frequencies to measure changes on Earth's surface.